So this is the path that leads from the pavilion to most of the other locations on the property. So what you want to be aware of here is there's a lot of roots that kind of pop out a little bit, a few stones. You want to make sure that you're watching your step. You don't want to trip on any of these guys. Beautiful day. Turn down this way and it'll lead you to a nice little opening where some people like to come and enjoy the river. It's a little calmer here. And sit on the rock and stick your feet in. And so we'll head back up to the main path. So we keep going down this way, eventually we'll hit Esco's Memorial Bridge. Just watch your step with the big rocks here. Now this is Esco Bridge. This is one of the last projects Esco helped with. And it's just beautiful craftsmanship. All the way through. There's the plaque commemorating the passage. And there's the little creek that the bridge is going over. And we continue down. You'll see there's trail signs. You can hit all of the coochies down that trail there or you can go down the river trail the river trail will also lead you to Kama's Memorial and eventually Ridge House so we're gonna go down the river trail <laughs> once again always being aware of the roots on the ground And the forest here is just so beautiful, so luscious. Right now, all the green has just come out. So there's lovely different tones and shades on the trees. It's very quite beautiful. Now this is another, another trail that'll go to Cootie too. We can go that way, or we can just keep continuing, which we shall do. There's a little opening for a meditation spot, 
it's also a great place to get pictures of the river. It's got a decent flow right now. We had some rain the other day. Lots of runoff. All right, let's go back along the trail. Keep going on our journey here. Look at that river, just beautiful. Now let's keep going. As you can see over the years, we've had some trees fall, but we have done some clearing. And I don't know if you've noticed, but our paths are marked with those bright orange tapes. So if you are ever unsure, you can always look for one of those. Make sure you're on the right direction. Now there's stones placed along this part of the trail. Usually in the springtime, it's very, very wet and muddy. So these stones act as foot placers for when the ground is too wet. Beautiful river opening again. Now this is one spot I'd be careful. Little bits of the edge have been washed away by the river in the rainfall. So just be careful with your stepping. Don't go too close to the edge. Don't want a foot to slip in. So this tree here is one of my favorite little markers. It's got a little notch in it. Just after it, down the way here. Keep going just a little bit.
We've come up to this little area. We're gonna get you in a second here. It's one of my favorite spots to come and meditate. So this area, at one point, I made a structure here. We'll go inside. Most of it's fallen apart now. But I used that big branch and took dead trees that had fallen to make a wall. And this tree here is a great sitting tree. If you look a little closer, you'll see my heart rock. And poking out just a little bit, I don't know if you can notice there, but that was the old carpet I put in. <laughs> Definitely need to come back. Coming on from the lean to spot down the river trail. So now you'll see the first little bridge going towards Kima's Memorial area. Usually there's a little bit of a creek running underneath it. This is the second bridge. It's pretty dry right now, but you never know when the water's gonna come flowing back. Now we're entering the Cedar Grove. Oh, too. You can kind of see the pond here. One point beavers had made a dam in this pond. They're now gone. Still, it's a nice calm spot. We'll keep going here. We're slowly approaching Kama's Memorial. There's a nice meditation bench. And then there's Kama's Memorial. Kama was the founder of Arrow River. He's the one who started it all. And we'll continue on.
Now this path is a really fun path to do with snowshoes in the winter time. Lots of inclines. Gives you a good leg workout. And up we go. Now you'll see the Ridge House sign. This path is the one that connects to the other cooties. But we're heading to Ridge House. So we'll go this way. Surprised we haven't seen any animal friends on our walk. The partridge have been out, chipmunks. Um, sometimes there's otters playing in the river. Pretty quiet today. I don't know if you heard that a minute ago, but I think there's a woodpecker in the area. And this is the last bridge going to Ridge House. Back when the beavers had their dam, this bridge was absolutely necessary. This whole area is just covered in water. Not so bad now though. Once again, there's lots of roots going up this path. So please be careful. Never want to trip. Always be aware of where your feet are. All right. We're almost there. You can see the woodshed in the distance there. And then this is Ridge House. Ridge House was the very first building on the property. This was the original building that Kama built. And we'll just go around to the front so you can get a nice view of what the field in the front of the building look like. Right now that ladder's up because of the solar panel. Needed to be adjusted. This is a lovely field. I'll be mowing this later today. And it's just absolutely gorgeous.